morning, I hope you are well. Today, the big news that's happening for me is I am going for my second COVID vaccination. And I've got to be honest, I'm pretty scared is not the right word, but I'm like apprehensive and a little bit nervous. I, when I had the first one, I made a video, I will link it up above if you haven't seen it. I was really quite ill for 24 hours. As soon as like eight o'clock kind of hit that evening after having it, I was just, I didn't sleep like more or less the whole night and I was just shaky and it was just, it was horrendous. And I am not someone who's like over the top when they're ill. I am kind of a get on with it type of person. And I was quite shocked by how I felt to be honest. Um, so I'm a little bit, a little bit nervous about it, I've got to be honest. Although, I I mean, everyone's got different tales about their jabs, haven't they? But I've just had, um, well not me, one of the children's had a health visit appointment and I was just speaking to her about it and she said that she was really, like, really ill for um, quite a while after her first, her first jab and then she had the second one and there was no issue. So I know it doesn't mean anything in terms of how I'm gonna be, but it just made me feel a little bit better. So I've got that today at half past one. Lava's getting hers done at the same time as well. We figured like I was gonna have to take Lava to hers and so we figured we'd just do them both at the same time. It made sense. I hope I'm okay. I'm really, oh, I'm just, I mean, it is what it is. We can't do anything about it. <laughs> All right, time to go. Let's do this. There we go, fully vaccinated. Unless of course they decide we're gonna need another one or a booster or something. It's just started pouring down. I'm sure you can hear it banging on the car. Um, yeah, all done. As you can see, I had the AstraZeneca. There's been a bit of controversy around the AstraZeneca, isn't there? Hasn't there been? Um, but yeah, I am a little bit, like I said before, I'm just concerned about this evening and tonight and I'm just crossing my fingers that it will all be okay. Hopefully it will be. Um, the nurse that gave the vaccination just you said obviously just take paracetamol if you need to. And we'll just see. It's quite a few hours later now and I have just come up and got into bed. It's like almost eight o'clock-ish. This was the time I started to feel horrendous last time. I've got my paracetamol, my water. And let's just hope for the best, hey? Good morning. I'm so happy this morning. No issues through the night at all. I fell asleep really early it was probably like half past eight when i fell asleep slept through till half past five i woke up and i like looked at my watch and i was like it's half past five i've like just slept through the night no issues i was so so happy i couldn't believe it i did take some um some paracetamol before i went to sleep so i don't know whether that had anything to do with it but to be honest i don't care all good i had no no issues um i mean i can tell i've had a jab done like in my arm I can feel it like when you move it slightly it feels but I ain't complaining about that oh my goodness so happy I've come out as you can see for a little well I'm just like walking to warm up at the moment I am gonna run in a bit it's about 10 past 6 and it is a beautiful beautiful morning and the day is wonderful because I wasn't ill and yeah I'm just really happy this morning in other news, I just was checking my emails and we had an email from Stephen's school. If you don't know, in Stephen's in year 11, which is his last year of school, doing, well, should have been doing his GCSEs, but obviously they were cancelled. And um, they normally finish, well, schools normally finish at like end of July, but if you're in year 11, you finish earlier because of GCSEs. But with them not doing their GCSEs, we were like, we just didn't know, we haven't known when they were finishing school. We just got an email this morning confirming that they finished school in, well, it'll be, what is it? Two and a half weeks. What day is it today? Tuesday. So they've got like this week and then two more weeks and then Stephen is finished with 
school oh my goodness that's crazy crazy I have got a little pro well I say little it's probably quite a big, big project that I want to complete today um, in the last couple of days I've been scouring Facebook marketplace for you know, those wooden pallets and I managed to source a couple for free both on Facebook marketplace and then I saw two in a skip and I just pulled over and asked the builders that were working if they minded that I took the pallets They're like yeah no problem take them so I've got a few wooden pallets at home just on the driveway and I want to make some raised beds to put my tomatoes in because they're getting quite big now on my windowsill and really they need putting out so I need to make hopefully it's not a big thing I'm not an expert at like DIY type stuff whatsoever I'm hoping it's not I'm hoping I can do it to be honest um, and then I realized that obviously with these beds I've got to fill them with something well not something I've got to fill them with soil and I have some compost that I can use but I don't have like enough and so I was looking again on Facebook marketplace and someone just had some topsoil just down the road more or less from me um, so I messaged them yesterday can I come and collect it so like yeah we, we just want to take it to the tip we just want to want rid of it so I'm going there this morning to collect some topsoil. Uh. I think this might be a couple of trips. I filled up my bags. There's still a lot. <laughs> well, here are the pallets that I have been collecting and I've also got I think two in the garage. I just need to take them apart, which is proving a little bit more tricky than I thought. So I've mostly broken one up. That was a little bit harder than I thought. I tried that one first off, but it was too difficult. I couldn't get it apart. So I've got this one with a bunch of nails sticking out, and I'm going to see if I can organise it into like a square or a rectangle or whatever and nail it back together. Right, I reckon I got my pieces. I've got three for one side, three for another side, and then two of these each. Let's see if we can put them together. Take a look at this, it is coming together, almost done. I mean, it's definitely got that homemade look, but that's fine. I think I've just got one more piece to put on this side. This side's got two on. I mean, it's not very high and I'd like it higher, but to be honest, whew, it's hard work. All done, got it in situ in the back garden. Now I've got to drag through that soil and probably go and get some more. But yeah, it's like, I really do understand that what I just did then has caused yeah. myself a problem. Mm. Where should we go? No ideas? It's uh, I've got the two kids with me, it's Sunday morning, nine hey. o'clock-ish. Everyone else, like Stephen and Lara, is still asleep. I haven't seen them yet this morning. And it was it's a lovely, beautiful morning, so I figured we'll go somewhere, but I haven't got a clue where we'll go. We may just go like to a park or we could go to, like like down by the canal maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where to go. I just know that I wanted to get out of the house and do something. What about... Oh, my auntie has just messaged me. Oh, she's just sent me some pictures of people supping. Where's that? The home of adventure in the heart of the northeast. Okay, I'll have to see where that is. 
thank you for those pictures river by campsite stockton where's stockton uh, right let's look for that later let's see where are we gonna go right now um maybe i think probably maybe just go to the canal it's easy there'll be some ducks for the kids they'll be happy with that should we go and see some ducks by the canal yeah yeah sound like a plan yeah okay we'll do that do this little path here and then there's the canal let's go oh yeah this will be nice little wander we're just going underneath this bridge check out the water pattern lovely for a Sunday morning. I don't think you could call it a canal walk because we've gone about what 100 meters or so and then we just like turned around and we're just watching the ducks and picking up sticks and things but it's a really nice relaxing lovely way to start the Sunday. When we get back home I'll have to show you the uh, raised bed thing that I did. I'm so pleased with myself uh, with them. I was when I was doing it like I was doing it out the front and so and I was talking to my neighbour and like a couple of people who walked past that and then I was talking to them and I was like every time I saw I was like I'm sick of it already like even when I was literally just breaking apart the pallets I was like oh just careful because those are the nasty leaves the nettles they hurt remember remember when they hurt you yeah stay away from them um yeah I was talking to them and I was like I'm just fed up I sh I'm just you know a job that you just wish you hadn't started and I was like oh I just should have just gone and bought a raised bed but and I don't actually know how much raised beds are, but I can't imagine they're pr like very cheap. And just the the joy, like the self uh, satisfaction of like building something yourself like that. I've just absolutely made up with myself. I really am. Like it's, it's only like a little thing, but I'm just really chuffed that like I sourced it all for free and built it all myself and everything. And yeah, just very pleased with myself. So I'll have to show you because I've built another one since. Um, I've not filled that one or anything and my plan is to do a couple more uh, I might do it today if the weather stays nice enough but um, yeah I'll show you it when we get home We've come to a garden centre. Come on then, let's go. The garden centre is just there and then I spotted on the way in, there's a little car boot sale over here, so we're gonna go and have a little look. Not that I've got any cash on me in case there is anything, but we're gonna have a look. Want some? So here it is, all finished. I have since made another one. I've just done that one now as well. So the wood, free, and the nails, free. Um, soil, you saw me go and collect, free. And then I've just, I had these anyway, these bamboo things. And I just made like a teepee 
with three of them and then pushed it through. I'm not sure whether this is going to be strong enough to be honest to hold them once they get bigger, the tomato plants, but this is like cat proofing that my mum had done in the garden so the cats couldn't escape. And I've just kind of posted it through. Possibly it might need something extra as they grow bigger, but for now, I'm pretty pleased with it. And I'm going to plant some, um, what am I going to plant? Some garlic, I think, and some basil down there as well. And then these, I have got a few more tomatoes that need to come out. So possibly that one might be for tomatoes as well. And then I have, well, I have all sorts that can go in there. And then, whoa. <laughs> even spinning a brush around um yeah i probably i've got more palettes so i possibly will make another one to go here because i've got quite a lot of edge to go out